Good morning, everybody. Well, at least for... Hopefully for you, it's a good morning. Um, I had to sleep in a hotel last night, as you saw. Got home just right close to midnight, and... Um, yeah, my house burned down. Uh, by the time the fire department got there, there wasn't much to save. But we've still got stuff to do, cloud cover. we got to get rid of... Got to get some things going. Um, last night, I did a few things. This morning, I used the uh, little pickup to drag over and put the, uh, the bail wrapper from the other place over here. And, um, yeah, as far as the house goes, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm, uh, I got to wait for the insurance adjusters to come out, tell me what happened. And I, I, I guess go from there. I, I don't know. But um, it's going to hook the uh, Alice Chalmers up to our tether. But um, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't pull it. So we have to use the old uh, farm all to pull the tether today. Which I don't think that's too bad of a deal. At least it'll pull it and make it work so that's all that matters we're gonna go ahead and uh, motor our way over there and get to Ted and everything up we uh, we've got to Ted all of that property over there and um, yeah we just got a lot to do. It, it's just, man, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do overall. I just know we got to get over there, get it tatted, get it bailed, and start picking it up. I am going to make my giant marshmallow rolls for the silage over here at the farm. I decided that before everything happened that I was just going to do that drag everything back to the farm and then I can just load it in once it's done being made. Now I made a lot of bales last night. That's you know I finished tedding, got all the grass bales done. That's why it took so long is it was just that much more I had to do. But uh, yeah I decided we needed to use the old farm all, get it out, use it some. Like I said, I wish I was using the, the old uh, Alice WD-45, but uh, it, it just doesn't have enough to run this. So there's not much I can do about it. I guess we're going to have some expense based off of hotels for a little while. Um, stuff I wasn't planning on. You know, I just, I, I, I really don't know what else to do. But, uh, well, let's see if we can uh, just get to Ted and all this up. Oh, yeah, that's looking good so far. But I figure we get this all tedded up, and uh, once it's all tedded, we can get over here, get it bailed up, and start picking everything up and getting it put away. And I, like I said, I just don't, I'm at a loss here. I really am. I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, should I rebuild on that where I'm at? Are they, you know, can we save the house? I, I just... I really don't know. I don't know what we're going to be up against when it all comes down to it. And to be honest, I'm a little bit worried about it. Oh, please tell me you can grab all this, can't you? Yes, it did. Wonderful. Now, my turning radius gets a little wonky. Uh, with this up because it is a little bit tough but you know we don't have any weight on the front to really help 
but it's it's manageable you know we can we make it work and everything seems to be okay we had a few little wind last night didn't help with the with the wind rose here but uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to get this all all into hay very, very easily and nicely. Uh, there's quite a few round bales out here of grass that will be turned to silage. It's amazing how many there really are. But, uh, hey, right now we got to do what we got to do, you know. And I'm thankful that we have so many windrows to turn into uh, to turn into uh, hay I uh, I think it could have been a lot worse of a situation but yep that's what I'm going to do so I'll get to Ted on this and uh, we'll see you here in a few Welcome back. Um, sorry, I had to take a phone call, so I didn't get to properly show you the run back over here, but that's okay. I went ahead and um, put everything kind of back where it was. I'm starting to think I'm going to need another shed down here to hold everything. Um, but, Lord, I don't know where I would put it. I just really don't have the room. Uh, I did... Oh, that phone call was from the insurance adjuster and uh, they are at the house right now they're looking everything over well what's left of the house they're looking everything over and from what I can understand slash see you know I put this away but I didn't put it away um, it was just wiring faulty wiring that caused the uh, fire so we uh we will get an insurance check. It could take up to three months for it to show up. Um, but they will only comp my hotel for about a month and a half. So, yeah. Not sure what we're going to do just yet. There, that's better. Get everything kind of put back where it belongs. I forgot I'd just parked that under there. Um... You know, we're just going to have to do what we got to do for now. And we're just going to have to kind of take everything one step at a time, one day at a time. But I went ahead and fueled up the 3020 and I put it on the other baler. I used the uh, silage baler over there that's got a silage tank on it to, uh, to bale everything up. On that side and then uh, we're gonna use this baler for hay and straw 
because that won't need anything to be done from the silage. So we're going to go ahead, head back over there. We'll get this bailed up. I mean, as far as the day is going, it's going really well. Uh, I think there's been enough time run through that when we start bailing, it's going to... Uh, it's going to come out pretty darn good. At least I think so. As far as I can tell at the moment anyway, you know. It's kind of a guessing game. But uh, I'm very, very glad that I bought this 3020. This has become an invaluable little tractor for smaller chores because it doesn't use as much fuel as our bigger tractor. And we really don't need a high horsepower to run this baler. Now that other baler, we do. We do need a little bit higher horsepower. But, hey, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't bother us any. Yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking whether to rebuild or just look for another house that's available. And I haven't decided yet. I'm not sure exactly what to do, you know? I I could rebuild because they're, they're going to send, the insurance company already said, they are sending a bulldozer in to bulldoze what's left of that house. That's one thing they said. It's a complete loss. Um... It's a good thing that we had insurance on the old 850 because it was in the garage. It's toast. We're... Yeah, we're just in a very rough patch here. And I'm not sure what we're going to do. I really... I, 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 I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's get this running. And let's just start in on her here. There we go. We are a bailing away. I hope we're not missing much. Man, I hope we're not missing that much. Oh, I doubt we are. But when we go back the other direction, we'll have a look. Because this doesn't have as wide of a pickup as our other baler does. So, I don't know. But, nice thing is, it's a little bit narrower. Yeah, looks like we're picking it all up just fine. That's good. That's excellent. But, yeah, we'll see what they say for the future here, but for now, let's get to Balin, shall we? See you in a few. Welcome back, everybody. 
We're getting right down here to the end. And, uh, man, we got quite a few bales off of this. I'm, I'm impressed. I really am. I am impressed by what we're getting. So, I will take it. Whatever we can get, I will take, you know. But, uh, this baler, this tractor, like I said, invaluable to the farm. We are doing extremely well when it comes right down to it. At least the farm-wise. But this will be the last pass right here, and yeah, we'll be good to go. The next uh, step course is to come over here and get these picked up. We need to get these uh, these uh, grass bales put into uh, rows and taken care of. That's going to be important too. Okay. Last little bit right there. There it goes. Well, there we are. We have uh, successfully cut and bailed this field. Boy, it took a while to get it done, but um, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. We'll just exit out of the field on this one. Looks like I got a little erosion going on there. But we'll get back over there, get this uh, detached, and uh, start collecting these bales and getting them uh, put away. So I'll go ahead and just kind of skip ahead here a little bit for everybody. That way. You know, it's, it's a little bit easier, and uh, see you in just a few moments. All right, everybody. Sorry it took so long. We're just kind of working our way down here. We got all of our bales over here. And to be honest with you, we don't have a lot of room, so we're going to put the bales down here. And uh, it's kind of a far idea to put them, but... I really don't have a lot of room. So we're going to put those bales right in here. I'll disconnect here real quick. And that was not what we wanted to disconnect. Need to disconnect that. There we go. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, hop in here, get this set up, and get it ready. Let's see here. We got to fire it up, get it moved into position, because we're just going to go right up this hill and uh, below this power line, and then we will be set up. And I think right about there ought to be good enough. Let's see. Do we have to turn it on? No, it is ready to go. Okay, so that should do it. All right, let's get up in here and get this situated. Let's start getting some bales down here. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a drive, but it's the only place I've got, and I don't, I don't think we're going to have to worry about flood. You know where we're at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this tractor. I went ahead and grabbed its. Whoops. Went ahead and grabbed its. Uh, front loader attachment here. Oh. Okay, we will not be using this tractor. It cannot handle it. That is too much of a bail for it. Okay. Good to know. Well. Let's get this tractor out of the way. Okay. 
I thought for sure this would work, but I guess not. That's, uh, that's kind of a bad deal. But we'll just go ahead and hop up in here. Attach up, and uh, we'll just use this tractor to get the job done. Because we know it is heavy enough. I thought for sure we'd be able to pick up those bales, but I guess not. This one is for sure. Heavy enough, that is. We'll just get them down here and uh, get them placed in and, and that'll be that. There we go. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought for sure there for a minute we were in trouble, but we're not. We're good. But, yep, I couldn't drop these bales anywhere else. This was just the best place I could find to drop them. And some of them did not... Um, want to work too good here normally everything drops off pretty good but in this case it did not so yeah I mean everything is looking pretty good we're just um, right now we're just uh, waiting you know Waiting for crops, waiting on the insurance company. We're just in one giant waiting game. And that's that's all there is to it. And this is going to take me quite a while, I think. Especially if I can get her in gear right. There we go. But, yep, just up, down, up, down... Probably going to wear a path down here, but that's okay. At least our, you know, this is our land. And, I mean, now I didn't think about that. They could get upset for me having my, um, having my bales down there. And if they have to come in and do service on that tower. I, I didn't think of that. That wasn't very um, smart of me. But, uh, well, you know, there's not much I can do about it. I should have thought of that. I Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Well, anyway, I'm going to keep on doing this. And... Um, we're going to see what we come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.